YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got a contest entry here for CJR's 10,000 subscriber contest. Um, wow, what a major accomplishment for the guy. I mean, that's fairly unbelievable. Um, I've been watching his channel for quite some time. He's probably one of the first uh, YouTubers that uh, channels that I was checking out when I first started retro collecting and I really got pumped up watching channels on YouTube. Um, his were some of the most inspiring. I mean, this guy goes around and um, basically finds like every deal imaginable. He's a wicked garage sailor, just gets out there and gets the deals. Um, he's also based in my area too as well because uh, he's also uh, in the greater Toronto area. I believe he's actually in Toronto, but I'm not totally certain about that. Um, but again, just like really amazing YouTuber. The stuff that he finds unbelievable when he's out um, doing the old circuit as far as garage sailing goes uh, just blows my mind but uh, again congratulations buddy on uh, 10,000 subscribers that's pretty amazing I'd say overall um, his contest actually consists and you probably know this if you're watching my channel you definitely have seen his um, his contest consists of basically this one question which is what is your favorite gaming memory and for me um, that would have to be the first time that I ever saw an original NES system. Uh, this is way back in the day, and I can't remember the exact date. It was a Christmas, you know, probably when I was like seven or eight years old, maybe nine years old. I, I can't remember exactly. Um, we went over to my cousin's place, and uh, the three um, cousins of mine got an NES system. It was set up down in their basement. My brother and I and the three of them basically went down there and uh, went to town on it obviously with five people trying to play Mary, uh, the first Super Mario Brothers. It's kind of hard but uh, everybody kind of got a, a little bit of a turn or you know it was like one person would die the next person was up kind of thing and that's um, how we played it sort of thing and I could already tell by the time I got there they had played it uh, quite a bit because uh, they were pretty good at the levels and I couldn't get very far at all not knowing anything about that and you have to imagine uh, now it's sort of like second nature really to play a Mario game but back then this was a very unique experience this is the uh, you know the first Super Mario on the NES so pretty amazing uh, I was blown away by the graphics and again you have to imagine um, this time period as well. If you're a younger person, you're like, oh my goodness, those graphics are horrible or whatever, they don't hold up and that kind of thing. Um, you have to understand that from my perspective uh, back then, it's pretty amazing because uh, before that, you know, I see like the Atari 2600 and stuff like that. So you gotta imagine like completely pixelated uh, things that are, you know, like a ball on Atari 2600 was a little square uh, bouncing around the screen. And you know, like I, I was used to like Pong systems and stuff like that that I saw at people's places, and I never saw something like that before when uh, you could actually see a character on the screen and you could, um, you know, get a sense of uh, features of them, not just you know stick figure type of um, art and stuff like that. So it was just blowing my mind, like the mushrooms, the clouds in the sky, the background. Um, I was used to black backgrounds, you know, like maybe one color monochrome type of backgrounds, nothing like that. Uh, just blew my mind. And that is my biggest gaming memory. I think that will stick with me forever. Things have come and gone and, and graphics have blown my mind over and over again throughout the generations of looking at different systems and stuff like that. But that one there was just a colossal leap. Um, if you look at something now like um, you know, PS3 to PS4. Um, I've seen a PS4. I've seen the graphics for PS4. I've seen the comparison of PS3 to PS4. And honestly, like, there's not, to me, there's not really that big of a jump um, in the graphics. Like, obviously, the PS4 has better graphic capabilities, and we'll see where the potential of that system goes. Uh, but from the get go, it really hasn't, you know, impressed me kind of thing as much as, you know, going from an Atari. Uh, 2600 to something like a uh, Nintendo system, the Nintendo Entertainment System rather back in the day, just uh, mind-blowing at the time. 
Uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And also, uh, check out CJR's contest if you haven't. I mean, you probably have. Um, if I'm delivering this news to you and you're one of my, you know, like 250 subscribers or whatever, um, and you don't know about his channel, I'm really surprised by that. If not, I'll still put links down below. Uh, feel free to click on them and head over to his channel and check out his stuff. Really great YouTuber yet again. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you all later. Thank you.